Breaking news. The federal government of Nigeria give conditions to Mazi Inamdi Kanu's release. And these have got so many Nigerians talking. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. The federal government of Nigeria, led by President Muhammad Buhari, has given conditions for the IPOB leader, Mazin Namdi Kanun's release. Before we go through that, you can record that a big court sitting in Abuja has discharged and, and acquitted the indigenous people of Biafra's leader, Mazin Namdi Kanu. But the Nigerian government said no. Malami said no. All the Fulanis, they said no. Namdi Kanu is not acquitted. That they are not done yet. What they want to make, what they want to do with him is, is really what we don't understand. Because every good leader should, should have understand that. Releasing Mazin Namdi Kanu will bring peace in Nigeria to the southeast also. Now, the federal government of Nigeria have given condition that the only way Mazin Namdi Kanu can be released from detention is first of all, he have to deny, denounce the Biafra struggle. <laughs> so that means he will no longer agitate for Biafra nation. So what they are trying to say now is Namdi Kanu should die than Biafra struggle. You know, and uh, accept one Nigeria. The another one said here is that uh, no more gathering. Namdi Kano, even after his release, he will not be seen with anybody or any more than three persons gathering. Namdi Kano, you know, will not be seen with people in a gathering. The ESN, the Eastern Security Network that was launched by the IPOB leader Mazin Namdi Kano, you know, to protect the Southeasterners from uh, uh, Fulani herdsmen that are killing them in their forests, coming to their houses to rape them and all that, destroying their farm crops. The federal government of Nigeria said they, he must, you know, dissolve that, you know, group also. And they also said that Namdi Khan will not leave Nigeria. Hmm. He will not travel out. They give him a specific time that he will leave. But as it is now, he cannot leave Nigeria. For them to be able to monitor all this, Niger Twist News reports. Like as I said, that the Abbey Court sitting in Abuja has discharged this man. Who, they said he is free. He's no longer, you know, in the hands of the Nigerian government. None the Kanu should go. But the federal government of Nigeria said no. Kano is being persecuted by the federal government of the, uh, the, the government of the federal high court in Abuja for 15 count charge charges bordering on treasonable felony, terrorism and offenses he alleged committed in the course of his uh, separatist campaigns. A three-man panel of the court of appeal, however, said the Federal High Court lacks the jurisdiction to try him in view of his abduction and extraordinary rendition to Nigeria in a flagrant violation of OAU Convention and Protocol on Extradition. They said the way they bring Namdi Kano come back to Nigeria is really very, very unlawful or constitutional. But Malami not send you. <laughs> Malami not send you. You know, so when you are too desperate to get something, you sometimes you go just go forget yourself. You go can't make mistake anyhow, and that is exactly what happened in this Mazin Namdi Kanu's case. How can a whole AGF do not understand that extraordinary rendition is a serious matter? You went ahead, you know, you 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 committed that crime because you feel that you are in the office. You do whatever. You lie to people. It doesn't bother you. You, you don't care. And uh, anybody that wants to talk should go to hell. You went to hell. 
ahead and you you adopted him you adopted him from kenya to nigeria even before he, he he was brought to nigeria he was tortured in kenya for good eight to ten days this man was chained on the floor if not be say god day with this man now die before that and all those ones self when they did do maybe they don't they pray self say make make something happen to ram if anything happened to ram oh good they could just leave that matter don't end there but god has been with this man you understand the court held that the 15 count charge preferred against them the can did not disclose the place the date time and nature of the alleged offense or offenses being uh, before being unlawfully extradited to nigeria in clear violation of international treaties the court further held that the federal government failed to disclose whether Nandi Kano was arrested despite the grave allegations against him. The court noted that the act of abduction and extraordinary rendition of Kano from Kenya without due process is, is a violation of his right. It added that the manner in which Nandi Kano was procured and brought before the court was not evaluated by the lower court before assuming jurisdiction to try him. So they said, the lower court, having failed to address the preliminary objection challenging its jurisdiction, particularly the issue of abduction and extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria, the lower court failed to take cognizance of the fact that a warrant of arrest can only be uh, executed anywhere within Nigeria, the appeal court judgment said. And the court further held that, the trial judge was in grave error to have breached the right to fair hearing of Nam de Kano and the African chapter on human and uh, people's rights are part of the laws of Nigeria and courts must abide by the laws without pandering to the aim of the executive and the appeal court said Nam de Kano is discharged and acquitted. Now, Someone that the court has already been discharged and acquitted. What kind of condition are you giving to him? I laughed the other day. I heard the the the, the southeast governor saying that the federal government should go ahead and apply a political solution to Mazen Namdekanu's case. I was like, wow, these people do they really know what they are doing? Instead of few people to chest out to say, release this man, how conditionally? And you have to pay him the compensation the court said you have you 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 should pay. The UN have said Nigerian government should pay him compensation for the unlawful arrest and the, the extraordinary rendition, torture and all that. His 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 fathers, his brothers are coming out to tell the federal government that they should apply political solution to someone the court have already, you know, settled his case. Ah, you can now pick from here what is now giving the Nigerian government the strength to now start giving the IPOB leader, Mazen Nam, the kind of conditions before his release, before the release of somebody the court have already released. This is a really very, very unfair. I'm dropping it. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Mm -hmm.